What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. We're back with another episode of the Daggers and Pets Only Let's Play. I will throw those rules up on the screen real quick so you can keep up to date with what's going on. I did remake my armor with the new Thrall, so I do finally have some very good armor value on this armor. And I'll give you a quick look at that, and we'll put this on. You can see I'm at 769. Yes, you heard it right, 769 with my helmet on. And we have some attachments to that armor. I didn't put anything on these because I really want to get the better reinforcement kit for them. So hopefully we'll find those recipes or that recipe in one of the vaults that we're gonna go and do today. Yes, we're gonna clear those up. We're gonna do the last two vaults on the map and that is going to essentially give me all of the sigils and then we can conquer the rest of the content on the Isle of Sipta. Let me know in the comment section as we're getting close to the end of this Let's Play, what do you think I need to make sure I do before I wrap this Let's Play up? So we've got Brutus and our trusty steed, Jelly. I also want to show you that I did make better food. So we are using the cooked pork feast. And that's going to give us the, well, not the best, but a really good amount of healing when we're sated. And it's also going to give us water additionally when we eat those. Let's get into the action. Here we go. there's the vault there so let's uh oh i guess i came up an odd way okay brutus thanks and uh, we'll start with you buddy how you doing oh good to see you good to see you good to see you good to see you die let's see what we get off these guys i'm gonna go ahead and put my pickaxe on here and what do we receive from you a whole bunch of meats whole bunch of different meat so we got feral flesh and exotic flesh and then wolf pet pelt and blood we'll go ahead and put that on there just he's got tons of food on him he should be able to survive just about any fight that we go into let's see what's around the area looks like we've got some iron there and some black ice we also have some crimson lotus let's go ahead and just harvest all this up and I know some of you are probably like, wait, why did you just smack it with your pickaxe? Because the pickaxe and the pick actually gives me the same amount as using the sickle. So instead of switching back and forth, I'll just use one tool for all of this stuff. And that'll make it more simple. 
There's also some silver over here, should you want to mine that. Silver, silver, silver. That guy doesn't even care about us. And more silver over here. So there's quite a bit of silver, actually, in this area. Not a whole lot of brimstone, but we did end up with, it looks like, uh, 663 black ice and only 75 brimstone, 248 crimson lotus. So that's pretty good. Epic killing montage in three, two, one. All right, so that went well. You may have noticed that if I got knocked down during that montage, what I would do is double roll. The reason why is because there's still a bug in this vault that if you get knocked down, you can't move for a certain amount of time unless you roll twice. That's the only way to get unstuck. So the double roll is very important because if you do get stuck, then it gives the enemy enough time to essentially knock you down again and that cycle can repeat until you die. So definitely remember a double roll. 
let's see what we have in the chest. Ooh, we have a recipe whirlwind blades. Okay, so another thing that we will not use in this let's play, but maybe sometime in the future. Who knows? Maybe I will transfer my character out of here and into another map. Something to think about. So... Yeah, I think we're good there. Let's go ahead and use this. And then let's take a look at the info here. This is uh, da -da -da, giving uh, some health every time an enemy is killed. So when you kill an enemy, you get some extra health. Let's go ahead and use that. And let's eat some food. And I think we're good to head to the next vault. All right, the last vault, and this one looks like it just has some black ice around it. Doesn't look like it's got anything else. Let's take a look here. Yeah, pretty much just black ice. And I didn't save this vault for last for any reason. It's not like I did them in any particular order necessarily. There was a few early on that I just wanted to get certain things out of. But after that, I just kind of picked them at random. And it's nice that these two ended up so close together in the end. So we are going to get into another epic killing montage. Three, two, one... felt like that was maybe all too easy going through that vault. Wow, that was uh, pretty simple and out the vault. Okay, we are definitely at that point where things are much easier than they were early on. And just so you guys see it, here's a weapon handle. Here's another weapon handle in my inventory. I found these in this vault. So that is a thing that's going to 
essentially make it so you can make better weapons prior to being level 60 or 55 wherever wherever it is where you're able to unlock those weapon handles this makes it so that you can do that earlier on in game so if you come in this vault and you're a level below 60 Oh, there's another weapon handle. So that's four weapon handles that we found in this vault right there. So do keep that in mind when you're running a Byron vault. It seems like this one has a quite a few weapon handles in it. So not a bad idea to uh, grab those. Okay, so let's take a look at what this sigil does. We'll look at the info, and this is boosting the thickness of their blood. So this is going to be the one that removes bleed from your system quicker. So that's very cool, and we'll go ahead and use that. If we go over to our stats, you can now see we have all these sigils loaded in the character. So we get a lot of really good bonuses from those sigils. Now I am going to wrap this episode up here, so you guys let me know in the comment section below, now that we're done with all the vaults, what do we go out and do next? The Whack Moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. And if you want to continue the fun, there's two videos on the screen. You can pick one of those to watch next. Please don't forget to whack the like button. And if you're new to the channel, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you get notified when I upload another video.